All right, so this is something I've been looking forward to for a while. You guys know I enjoy these shorter miniature miniature cartridges, these cartridges that fit in a standard AR platform that are made to increase the energy and distance of your standard AR platform. I enjoy these cartridges. I have a lot of content built around them. And recently in one of our long-range ballistics gel test videos, we tested the 6.5 Grendel with the uh, 123 grain SST hand load uh, in my 20-inch Grendel. And expectedly, I did not expect that, that actual load to perform uh, at that distance with the velocity that it was slowed down to. I did not expect it to perform uh, as that hunting bullet, as that expanding SST bullet should. Uh, and it absolutely didn't. It just zipped right through the entire entire two blocks, never slowed down. Uh, it was completely unimpressive. Um, so I want to find a bullet that I can use uh, if I decided to, or if any, many of you decide to, because what I've found, like we talked about in that in that uh, 6.5 Grendel video, the long range ballistics gel test, uh, is that I've seen a lot of people commenting on my videos and forums all over the place talking about how they have been ch do, doing a lot of long range hunting with some of these cartridges. So a lot of that 6.5 Grendel video was just to show how ineffective some of these cartridges can be at those distances when they don't have the velocity and energy to expand. Um, so what I wanted to find though is a bullet that if some of you guys are deciding to hunt at those further distances with cartridges like these that you guys can use uh, to be able to do that and be as effective as possible. So. Uh, We've also, you may notice a lot of these long range ballistic gel test videos we've been doing here recently. We've been testing a lot of match bullets. You may be saying, why test match bullets? Well, you will note, you, if you follow any long range hunting, you'll see that a lot of, most of the long range hunting community, because they're hunting at long range, match bullets are much more effective at long range as far as uh, being able to put the bullet where you want it to go. And the most important part of putting an animal down humanely and effectively is putting that bullet where you want it to go. So, because of that, hunting at long range uh, with these shorter cartridges um, has almost has to be done, I would assume, with some sort of match cartridge or match bullet. So that's why I've been testing match bullets. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to continue that. We're testing the the uh, 109 Burger. This is the long range hybrid target. Uh, it's a fantastic bullet, fantastic match bullet, but I've not seen any of these shot into gel. So that's what we're gonna test today. We're gonna test it at distance, at a distance where it still has velocity, still has energy, and still should be able to perform. And if this works out like we want it to, we'll take it out even further and see what these bullets do at those further distances. So here it is. Now, let's get back to this. Here we go. 109 Burger. Long range hybrid target, 420 yard ballistics gel test. Okay, I think that was in it. Let's send one more here. <laughs> that went in the jail. So down here at the block, so first impressions, we're going to take this back to the bench, obviously measure everything, talk about it, talk about how deep everything, how deep uh, the penetration was, where the wound cavity started, all that. But initial impressions, look at that huge wide swath of a wound cavity. This is 420 yards and that is an impressive, impressively wide swath that this thing cut with a thousand foot pounds of energy at target so uh, that's the 109 burger load was not able to find the bullet kind of disappointed about that i did shoot this thing twice the second shot uh came in on the underside i saw the block move thought that i had impacted it i did but it actually just scraped the bottom of the block and it's getting dark so we're not gonna have time to go back and shoot another one but i think this gives us a lot of really good info i'm not seeing a whole lot of 
bullet fragments left behind this thing traveled all the way through this first block into the second block and it exited right here and i looked along the ground i looked everywhere i was not able to find the bullet um, it is by all accounts lost but let's get this back to the bench talk about it uh, and talk about where we're going to go testing these 109 burgers uh, from the six arc for long range hunting and long range ballistics testing. All right, so there you go. As you see, I already obviously knew the results of this before uh, we showed you guys the ballistics gel test. So a couple things about this first off. So first off, performed fantastic. Um, for a match bullet, this is exactly what I want to see. This is something that I can absolutely expect to put down a deer at 400 yards and feel comfortable that I'm gonna be putting a humane shot, enough energy and enough enough velocity to put that deer down humanely so that's what exactly what i'm looking for now i would love to be able to show you guys how to push that out further um and hopefully we can do that and we'll test this bullet out further now one of the things i really do i am kind of disappointed about is we weren't able to catch the bullet um the thing absolutely performed almost like a hunting bullet would now a lot of people have said in the past and i've never tested burger bullets in gel but i have seen and taught and heard a lot of people say that burger bullets uh, almost all burger bullets when they hit gel uh go have an explosion effect like a bomb and that's kind of what we saw here so i was really happy to see that i actually thought that i had put two bullets in the gel one of the things i really regret is not capturing one of these bullets i thought i'd put two shots on it but the second shot actually just zipped up underneath the edge of the gel so i saw the gel move thinking that i had put a shot in it it just touched the edge of it uh but that's neither here nor there. We still did get one good shot. Um, we will capture one of these bullets in the future when we test these in the future at further distances. Uh, so we will see how these things are performing. Are they actually coming? Are they actually uh, starting to open up uh, and mushroom out, or are they just tumbling to get these these this type of wound cavity? So. Um, a little bit about the bullet that we're shooting. So it is the 109 Burger uh, hand load from my 24 inch 6 millimeter arc, 2,680 feet per second. Elevation to get on target, 2.1 mils. Uh, velocity at target, 2,000, I'm sorry, 2.2 mils. Velocity at target, 2,073 feet per second. Energy on target, uh, 1,040.7 feet per second. So over that thousand thousand feet per second or thousand uh, foot pounds of energy, over 2,000 feet per second velocity. So still really moving. Still at 500 yards, we'll be moving quite quite effectively as well. So we will test that I think next when we test this uh, six arc with the burgers here. Um, so the wound cavity that you have here. So our wound cavity um, turned out, like I said, exceptional. Um, especially for a match bullet. Um, so at, with the, at, the bullet entered the gel, uh, traveled in about four inches before it started to actually open up and expand. You'll see that here. Um, and it continued that slow expansion into about six and a half inches. And at about six and a half inches, it absolutely either blew up or tumbled one or the other. Like I said, without capturing the bullet, uh, we'll never know for sure. But uh, hopefully we see this continued pattern in, fu in future videos and we'll know whether we're tumbling or whether we're getting expansion. Um, so either way, the wound cavity is a just absolutely devastating wound cavity. So at about six and a half inches, it really starts to open up or tumble, either one. Um, and that lasts all the way till about 11 and a half inches. So about a five inch long here, as you guys see, a huge five inch long wound cavity um, that really would do some damage. It's right in the, in the center of the block, so right where we want it to be. And then that bullet continued to travel. Um, looks like it either straightened out or continued to tumble, um, made it another, the rest of this block, the other four inches of this block, into it just about another inch of the other block and spit out the side. I looked for it, wasn't able to find it. It was really kind of disappointing that I wasn't able to find it. But, like I said, we will capture another one here in the future. Um, so, so far, this bullet, as I said, just the first time testing it, this is something I would be completely comfortable with shooting a deer out to that 420 yards uh, and feel completely comfortable that it's going to be an ethical ethical kill if I can put the bullet where I want it to go. So, um, 
I cut and one other thing I want to mention, if you guys noticed when the bullet entered the block, one of the things I've seen, I've watched a lot of ballistics gel tests, I've always been interested in them, and you see in ballistics gel tests that explosion happen uh, when the bullet enters the block, when the block really starts to expand. I was really surprised to see that, that large of an explosion and that big flash uh, in the block even from that far away. I was actually able to see it through my scope. Um, I think you guys can see it through the spotting scope footage and then I know the downrange camera caught it. So it was really neat to see that still even at that distance. See, I guess carrying just that supersonic speed is what's doing that. But anyway, really interesting. So I hope this was uh, something you guys were interested in. Um, ballistic gel testing of these smaller cartridges. I think so far we've got a winner here going with the Burger Long Range Hybrid Target 109. Uh, in the 6 art, I said we'll test it further and see how it goes even out to further distances. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.